Hey guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to another Objective C tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be expanding the rectangle class we built in, well, the last couple tutorials. So basically, what we did is we built a class or a program for rectangles and squares. But say we weren't just building a random program, we we're actually building an application to draw rectangles and squares on the screen. So what we have so far, and by the way, I deleted everything out of my uh, old tutorial, you know, give me a clear blank slate out of my main method at least. But anyways, what we did is we gave our rectangles and squares pretty much a width and a height. And we also calculated the area and perimeter if we need to know that for, you know, fill color or anything like that. But aside from just giving it a width and height, when you're building an application like this, you also want to tell the computer program where on the screen do you want the rectangle? Do you want it to appear up here or do you want it to appear down here, maybe up here? So the most common way to do this is to develop a coordinate system. And if you remember from math class, the x-axis goes left and right horizontally and the y goes up and down. So let's go ahead and do that right now. And we'll put this point down here, 0, 0. So um, we'll do pixels. So let's go ahead and put, it would be like 1, 2, 3, over 3, 1, 2, 3. So 3 over and 3 up would be the origin 3, 3. Um, if you don't know how coordinates work, um, just think of playing Battleship and that's pretty much what we're going to be building here. So let's go ahead and build a new class for your origins. I mean, if you wanted your rectangle to have origins, you could go ahead and extend your class to put origin properties, x origin, y origin. But we're going to be working with it a lot and not only in our rectangle class. So let's go ahead and in our project, let's go ahead and add new file. All the defaults look good. Just go ahead and press next right here. And for your new class, just go ahead and name it um, x, y, point. I mean, you don't have to name it the same thing as I do, but um, it's nice to follow along. So finish that, and now we have two new files, x, y, point. So let's go ahead and click on the source, and now we can see everything. And there we go. So let's go ahead and delete this. And where is my other one? Dot .m, delete the comments. I always delete the comments because I hate them. And so for your let's see your interface file for the XY point the first thing we want to do is change this cocoa to foundation and foundation just like that I hate how those dot H's appear so let's see it's going to be interface XY point and we're going to have it inherit from NS object and what properties do we want to give it well we want to give it an X value and a Y value so in X and this is going to be the distance it is from r the left hand side so if it was so if X had a value of 100 it'll be 100 pixels away from the left and obviously int Y and this is going to be the distance is away from the bottom so if it's 100 200 it's 100 over 1 200 up so it would appear right here guesstimating you know like I measure in perfect hundreds of pixels when I'm moving my mouse I don't really but anyways what we want to do after that is define our properties using the at property and spell it right. Oh, that's a tidbit better. And just go ahead and put an X and Y. And this tells um, Objective C what our properties are. So now the only thing we're really going to do is we're going to build a method to set X and Y. So, of course, you need the header. Um, it's not going to return anything. Void. I hate how that stuff pops up. I wonder if way I can uh, get rid of that. But anyways, set x, y, and you're going to pass it two values, of course. I bet you can guess. Int, and we'll just call this one x value. And you're going to pass it another int. And this we will just name y value like that. So let me make sure I got everything here. We got x, y properties, and we got a method right here. So now we can move on to the uh, implementation file and show everything how to work. So we want to import xh. Let me tighten this up a bit. That's what she said. And of course, we want to implement xy point. And the next thing we want to do is at synthesize x 
and why. And this is automatically going to build setters and getter methods for us um, if you forgot what synthesize does. Now we got to make sure we add a body to this method that we said we we're going to build. And again, what all this method is going to do, as you're going to see in a second, is it's going to allow you to set the coordinates for x and y. So let's just remember we're going to pass a value, an x value and a y value and we already have these variables x and y so this is the easiest thing you'll ever see x is equal to x value that we pass in and y is equal to y value that we pass in pretty cool huh and uh... see that looks good right there but i am debating whether to keep going on you know what in the next class or I mean excuse me in the next tutorial i'm going to be uh showing you how to change everything in your rectangle class and teaching you a whole bunch of stuff but for now I mean we got this class built so you know that's better than I expected to do for this tutorial but I'm running out of time but uh thank you guys for watching I'm out of time in the next tutorial um, I'll show you well what to do next so thank you for watching if you want the source code click the link below and you can go get it at my forum for free so uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time